No, you didn't have that where you're just uh, having that impression uh, for the people that you're starting to try to get this campaign. Of course, uh, with us here, we've got a face uh, that most Zimbabweans uh, can easily uh, identify themselves with. Uh, of course, he's been uh, with his PF youth for a very long time, and now he's holding a much more senior position. Uh, Thank you so much, Honorable, for having us right here. If uh, just for the benefit of our viewers, you may just introduce uh, yourself. Okay, my name is, thank you very much. Uh, my name is uh, Comrade Tendai Terao. I'm the Deputy National Secretary for Security in the ZANU-PF Politburo. Uh, Honorable Chirao, uh, Deputy uh, Secretary now, but many people know you uh, as the vibrant youth. Uh, you know, we, we, we know you more from there. Uh, wh how has been the transition uh, specifically for you? Because you are no longer that Chirao we used to know, specifically from the youth perspective, the vibrant one, the one that used to drive a lot more on the party. Uh, do, do you feel a little bit uh, maybe uh, degraded from the last position that you had, or this is a much more senior position but without much of the authority that you used to have? No, thank you very much. As you know that the youth is, uh, is uh, a post that makes everyone visible because you'll be dealing with a very important wing and you interact with the media uh, so often. But I want to say and appreciate that uh, there's no one who can be youth forever. I'm not 37 years of age. I did my part. I served. And um, the person that I am, we are happy and we are working with the party and we are working with the party structures and we are happy uh, being there. So you cannot compare what used to happen in the youth and what is now, happen, what is now happening now because in the youth you'll be seeing me everywhere each and every day. But now this is security. We are concerned about your security. We are concerned about uh, the security of Zimbabweans. So you, you will really see us on media and uh, we are, I, I'm happy with that and I'm actually later that this excellence promoted and recognized that those young people who are coming from the youth actually graduate and go to that uh, uh, position. So I'm happy and I'm comfortable in that position. Let's talk about this day. What does this day uh, mean uh, to you specifically as a ZANU-PF uh, member? Uh, firstly, we don't commemorate this uh, day based uh, on uh, one's uh, uh, political affiliation. This is a national event. It's a day because all of us we acknowledge the fact that uh, we, were, we, we, were, we were liberated by a generation of people who did not enjoy their youthful days. And they managed to face colonialism head on. And they managed to do this using the barrel of the gun for us to be free. It was not possible for us to be free as we are today. For example, there were many laws that were there that were actually promoting uh, the settler administration. But we are happy that those people, they sacrificed they are all to make sure that we are free today. So what we call Zimbabwe was birthed by the blood of the gallant sons and daughters, some who are living and some who are fallen. So it's a day for us, for us all. But an important epoch, an important thing that we need to, uh, to learn from them is that some of the key national grievances that they fought for is the control for national resources. So it is up to us, the generation of today, to make sure that we utilize land, we own and control resources uh, for our advantage as our, as our president always says, that Nika, Inovako, Nevenimao, let's take control of those because this is one of the reasons why sons and daughters went to the, to the cell. So these sacrosanct values must be respected to the letter. Uh, you, you mentioned a, a very important uh, issue and aspect of making this become a national event. But we've seen most ZANU PF youths, they came here clad in party youth, they were singing party slogans, they were singing party issues, and specifically uh, they were chanting slogans promoting uh, ED. Uh, what, what, how, how would you respond to, 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 to that issue of uh, making this a national event uh, and then the parties are now overtaking such a national event? My brother, the, the liberation struggle had the face. It was not just face, uh, fought disjointedly. They were authentic liberation movements. That's Zipra and Zanla. And today we still have got those people who are still alive who fought in that liberation struggle. And His Excellency President Emerson Nangagwa happens to be one of them who fought and he happens to be president of today. So people are associating themselves with that party that brought that, independ that independence, that liberation struggle. But people can come and fuse in. We cannot remove that history because it is ZANU-PF, it is ZANLA. But they came in dressed with party regalia, singing party songs and chanting party slogans some at a national event. Some of these songs were saying in the liberation struggle. So we cannot separate the two.
They were sung in the liberation struggle so that we cannot stop today just because we are free. We, they continue singing about those songs because it is what inspired the, the liberation struggle. How do you respond to issues that there is a rift between the president and the vice president? Specifically, we saw there was so much strong effort from these supporters uh, saying ED 2023, ED Chinjaga, Barco and all that, but there was not any mention of any other party member uh, except just for the president. Is this a genuine rift? Is there a genuine rift between the president and the vice president? No, the issue of uh, the rift is a creation of the um, of the creation of people who want to cause confusion within the, the, within the party. Uh, the vice president actually mentioned that um Nangagwa is our president for 2023, our candidate. The Youth League had their conference and they said that uh, the president is, uh, is, uh, is, is our candidate. The Women's League also had the last year conference we had the same thing. So there is no issue. It's a creation of those who wish to see Zanpef divided. We are united and we are strong. Is one. Why was the message so strong from the youth? Say are, and all. It just, seems we are just re-emphasizing what we said at the conference, what was said at the conference, what was said by the women's and youth leagues, and they're just re-emphasizing. Any doubt was, why, why the reaffirmation? We continuously say it because that's what we say, uh, that's what we are, and that's what we agreed, and we are just re-emphasizing. There's nothing amiss. Honorable Bujira, we do thank you so much uh, for joining us live right here. We are at the National Heroes Thank you, Eka. <laughs> thank you so much. We are glad to see a, a media house owned by uh, black people. It was not possible during uh, colonialism to own such a good media house. So we hope that you also abide by the liberation ethos and objectives. This is one of the fruits of the independence, to see you holding that camera, to see some black people working tech TV. I'm honored. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity that you've given me. Thank you. Much appreciated. We do. Thank you so much. Uh, there, that is Atenda Ichirau from the ZANU PF. Uh, clearly uh, speaking about uh, the rift between the president and the VP uh, from his side, he says uh, it is nothing much but just an artificial creation. We are live from the Zimbabwe National Heroes. Eka, it's a rap from me.